This video is all about definitive fun. <laughs> Hello fellow vapors, Vaping Newbie here, and we're not really truly going to be looking at a product or juice. Uh, we're going to be touching on a product that I picked up today, and you'll see that later on in the video. Uh, it's going to be about 17 minutes, but it really is about how we can take vaping and make it fun. And uh, just three little things I wanted to share with you um, that I've done of late that, that really sort of keeps that hobby thing intact. So um, I'm not trying to keep this too long. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it, uh, so I hope you stick around. So I'm off today, right? Uh, it's Friday. There's nothing on TV. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. And I thought, what the hell am I going to play with? I went out and got those definitive coils, but I, I thought, we're going to talk about those a bit later. What else do I got? So I dug through my vape gear, and, you know, some vapors, they just keep buying crap, and I'm no different. I've sort of curtailed that, but... Um, I picked up this when I was placing an order uh, with a famous Chinese seller of vape products. No names mentioned, and they're not as fast as you might think, but not that bad. Uh, and while I was placing the order, I saw this and I thought, oh, what the hell, throw it in. And it is a Genesis-style tank. It's a, a Kraken clone, and it cost me like eight or nine bucks. Works really well, but... I never did a video on it because I don't think I'm qualified to. Uh, when it came in, it came in with uh, stainless steel for wicking and that little blue screwdriver. I never even opened it. Uh, I just thought, what the hell? I saw a video where people were wicking with cotton, so I thought, well, I'll try that. So we're going to show you how easy that is. But the main point of this, this tank is because it is part of that hobby. Some people collect coins, some people collect stamps. Most of us just collect vape crap, okay? And this is one, I haven't touched it in five, six months. It was sitting in a box. And I thought, well, I'll dig it out and see why I gave up on it. And I gave up on it because I made a big mistake. I kept getting burnt hits. And um, what was happening was the juice was not flowing properly. So I took out that wick, replaced the wick. The coil was still flying because it's brand new. And here we go. Little single coil build, and I'm really liking the flavor. So let's take a, a look down at, at what this part of my hobby is. Okay, I got a little uh, single coil on there. It's a 28 gauge. It comes out to about uh, one, I think it was 1.03 ohms. And I'm just using um, a piece of cancel to uh, feed or fish the cotton. And to me, this is this is the actual fun part of, of vaping. You get to do something a bit different. So I've got it through, and I'm just going to gently pull it. And we do this so often, just roll, pull a bit. This seems like so two years ago, but uh, I, again, I've had this for quite a while. Now, I got the cotton in there. And it is very, um, for lack of a better term, bushy. Uh, so I'm just going to trim that down about the height of that negative screw. Get it looking neat. Now I want to be careful on the amount that I got going into the tank. So I'm going to just trim that and take a look. Maybe trim a wee bit more. And there we go. So you got set, a setup, something like that. Let me get a better look there. Something like that. And again, folks, all for fun. Uh, this now, I'm going to take some, whoops, great Canadian frog, and this is the falls. And I'm just going to dampen. Just want to get some juice. And then I just put this, it slides right on. And then it, it's, held, it's held pretty tight. And then there's right there, there's a little um, juice fill hole right in here. 
and you want to make sure that you get enough juice and you want to do it slowly because you don't want to tug that um, the cotton you don't want to create in such pressure that it pulls the cotton through but I don't think that's going to be much of an issue that's it we're going to let that sit for a bit we're going to come back and have a vape okay so put it all together works out really well it does have these little airflow controls now this is a single coil build uh, it does have on either side airflow control uh, again this is just have fun and uh, here we go um, I found that by using it it's not one that you can chain bait because you really have to let the wicking process continue in my opinion uh, the, the cotton is wicking without an issue I don't think you're going to want to use a heavy VG juice in it because it's a, it might be too thick to wick properly but again my opinion was cotton anyhow uh, but you know what I sat there for I don't know 20 minutes or so to put all of this together and what the hell I have fun I have a, a new tank that I completely forgot about and not everything has to be 0.20 ohms and 150 watts uh, this came out at one watt. Uh, I'm sorry, one ohm exactly, and I'm vaping it at 25 watts. And the flavor is actually damn good, if I may say so myself. So on to the next subject. I hope you're having fun because I am. The next segment is less of a hobby, more of a money saver, I guess. Um, and it was purely lucky. I bought this juice from VapeMe.net. I love Mike's juice. That sounds wrong. Uh, anyhow, the order came in, and I tried it, and I thought, man, this is heavily caramel. And I was very much a caramel and toffee guy uh, when I started it, but this was just, I was hoping for more apple. But Mike also threw in an apple pie and uh, cinnamon roll vape. So what I did was uh, I didn't want to use or lose the juice because I just thought it was Swedish for me. Uh, not Swedish like, hello, Sven. I mean, Swedish like sweet, sugary. Um, hello, Sven. Uh, so, uh, having said that, I took some of this juice, put it in the other juice. Now, remember, if one juice has a higher nicotine content than the other, you will be cutting down that nicotine content. Uh, so, you put it all into one jug, put the stopper back on, put the top back on, and give it a hell of a shake. And now you're changing the flavor profile. Sometimes, like now in Quebec, uh, we can't walk into a shop, believe it or not, and test the juices. So when you buy something, if you don't know it, it's a crapshoot. And rightfully so, a shop will not take back an open bottle of juice. So you might be stuck with a bottle saying, eh. well, use that bottle of juice and try to think, well, what else can I put with this? Caramel, apple, and cinnamon go really well together. So by doing this, I'm hoping to cut that caramel a bit, add a wee bit more apple, and the cinnamon might give it a really good mix. So that's what I do with juices. Hopefully they blend together. If it's a juice that I'm not over the top about, I try to make it something I will be. Stick around. We're going to put this to the test. Okay, so we got my basic velocity build. It's a uh, two uh, dual coil. It comes out to 0.30. I believe it's a 24 gauge Cantal. Uh, nothing special uh, that's why I like it nice and easy uh, so this is part of that definitive coil test that I want to run does it make a difference so look up look way up if you're not Canadian you might not understand that reference so here we go single coil uh, sorry dual coil on the velocity and that uh, vape me uh, concoction that I just put together see I'm liking the flavor already so that goes back to what I was saying I like the flavor more because the caramel has been uh, diluted some so it doesn't have that really uh, sugar type uh, flavor to it it's lessened somewhat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same juice the same cotton and just change out the coils for definitive coils and see what kind of difference they make okay so I got the uh, new coils installed 
they're really working well uh, that sort of inside out that's what you want to see so let's get some wick on there and uh, see a, com a flavor comparison okay just to let you know that everything's on the up and up this is the same juice um, my vapeme.net concoction so I'm going to uh, put that get this oh well the surface area on these coils is, is, is really something that you know I haven't seen so we're gonna let that soak for a bit and then uh, we'll come back and let's continue the taste comparison we're back up top as they say and wow uh, it, it, it's a popping uh, it came out at point point three zero uh, ohm which is exactly the single uh, wire or the dual the dual build that I had previous that I took out to put this one in the uh, definitive coil one in uh, I have it vaping at the same uh, wattage at 77 watts and uh, here we go um, I don't vape I always say this I don't vape for clouds you can feel the pop you saw it but the flavor takes on a different definition so a buddy by the name a buddy of mine uh, by the name of David said once I get a clapping coil I'll never want to go back and now I'm worried now I'm worried because he may be right on this uh, when I went out to the vape shop today uh, I bought two packs I still have this one and that'll last me about a month month and a half possibly more because I'm not big dripper I don't do a lot of it uh, and I'm probably gonna only keep them for drippers I'm not going to put them in any of my uh, uh, rebuildable tanks so what this allowed me to do and, and this was the point of today was to, to experiment at, at a relatively low cost these two coils cost me up here in Canada $13 for two so I bought the two the two sets um, what that allows me to do is try something that other people could do that mark who's like a coil artist that created a business for people like me that don't have that ability I'm not I'm not looking for pity I'm not able to do it so um, or I'm too lazy uh, so I let Mark do it for me and by paying $13 I have the privilege if you will of using these coils it is again part of what our hobby is these coils do indeed make a difference so that's it let me uh, let me come back and I'll wrap it all up for you so what's the point of all of it well obviously as I said in the outset the point was to have fun it's a Friday there's nothing else on going on TV I didn't have anything uh, that I could do because I have to be back at the house for a certain time ergo what the hell am I gonna do dug out some crap and let's play with it so that was my cracking clone I just pulled that out and said okay why did I give up on it so easily and now got it working fine um, I was looking at two bottles of juice that I just got in uh, maybe a week and a half ago and thought well I haven't been using it but it's because of that you know the flavor just wasn't there for me and that was my fault I choose those flavors folks and I chose that combination of flavors so by adding them all together maybe I just created a different juice so Mike the thing I love about your shop is going forward if I hit that juice I like I can always say you know make this for me and I know you can and then finally definitive coils playing with a fused Clapton I have a fused Clapton dual coil build And I want to thank Mark because he starts a company that allows somebody like me that doesn't have that massive coil building ability to have it. And again, 13 bucks for two. You're in the States, Canadian dollar. Check them out. See if they can send them over to you. Or maybe they already have somebody down in the South that has it. Um, really simple. And again, it was, it was, is it part of a hobby? That's arguable because I didn't make the coils, but it allowed me to rip out a bunch of crap and get out my, you know cotton and everything re-wick them and work this the coil because you do have to tweak them after they're in it's just not put them in and hit a button you do, you do have to play with it so it's arguably a part of a hobby but it is part of a hobby and it was a lot of fun so it allowed me to pass the day sometimes when you're just sitting there and there's nothing on TV there's nothing you're really doing pull out some of your old crap see what you can do with it play with it and have some fun folks that's it I hope you enjoyed it um, I, I can't say I hope you got something out of it Check out Definitive Coils. VapeMe.net is down below. If you want to play with flavors, they sure as hell allow you to. So go check out those two guys because it is well worth it. I just hope you have fun with it because that is part of what we should be doing. It's not all just, you know, here, get this. Uh, you got to have fun with it. So please, please stay healthy. 
and happy vaping. Take care, folks.